Hello YouTube and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how to screen record without any other software other than a simple key combo on your Windows machine. It's really easy, it's really simple. And I've got this uh, stock video playing right here just to give you an example of what I mean. We'll just assume this young lady is in an online class and maybe it'll get to the point where she has to present she would have a hard time without knowing about this feature built into Windows to screen record, dealing with OBS or other screen recording software, and it'll go down a rabbit hole that will take more time, uh, I guess, learning how to do it than it would be to actually record what you needed. And that's just one example. Maybe you're journaling something. Maybe you're a YouTube creator and you want to be able to record your screen. You can do that with this easy method I'm about to show you. Now, I know some of you have already tried OBS and with OBS, if you only have one monitor or if you don't have the settings tweaked quite right, you will run into something like this. The infinite loop of OBS recording the screen of OBS recording the screen of OBS recording the screen and it'll go on for infinity and it's not professional. You would not want to make a YouTube video with this happening right now, nor would you want to make a presentation where this is what was going on. And we've got to remember everyone is not as versed with the computers as everyone else. We've got to bring everybody along. Everybody had to learn somewhere. So you don't want this. You don't want OBS and you've got one monitor and this is what you get when you're trying to record your screen. So we're not going to use that. I'm not going to look at that much either. It makes my head hurt. What you want to do on your keyboard on the left side, there's going to be a Windows key. To record your screen, you're going to hold down that Windows key and hit your G. G is in golf key. Now, when you do that, it opens up the Microsoft Xbox game recorder. Now, don't mind the name. You don't have to be playing Xbox to use this feature. As a matter of fact, I don't have my Xbox synced up to my Microsoft account that I actually play on. So what you get is an overlay and this overlay, of course, has the Xbox symbol and we know that's synonymous with Microsoft. So disregard that. This is not a game feature. This is a screen recording feature. And I'll talk about these three panes in top, left and right. The top pane is going to give you access to your camera. Second one is going to be your audio, your microphone. Third one's going to be your screen. And of course, the fourth one is your friend. You, your friends, you wouldn't use that one. Left pane now. The left pane is going to be your capture pane. The first icon of the camera is going to be to take a screenshot to actually record one picture from your screen. You would hit that, you would record a picture. That's it. The third icon is going to be, now I'm sorry, the second icon with the circle with the with the with the arrow going in reverse that lets you record the last 30 seconds that's more for the game features i'm going to pretend like that's not there we're not talking about that we just want to use this to record our screen what you want to look at is that third symbol under the capture side which is in the left pane that third symbol of the circle with the darker circle in the middle that is your record button once you hit that your screen is being recorded the fourth one is your microphone. You can unmute your microphone right there if you want to voice over whatever you're recording. Or if it does not require any audio and you just want to record what's happening on your screen, you can leave the microphone muted. The right pane just shows how much uh, computer resources you're using at that particular time. Disregard that. You can always X out of that unless you're playing a game where it matters. That doesn't mean anything. You can X out of that third or right pane. The main one you want to deal with is the left, the capture pane. And if you see under the camera, there is a show all captures. Once you hit that and you're done recording, you'll get a pop up showing whatever you recorded right there in front of you that you can save, that you can send. It's an MP4 file so that you can upload it to YouTube. Whatever you want to do with it. You've recorded your screen successfully and you did not have to download any software or go through any learning curve on how to use that software. Now, um, you may also have a fourth pane which will show you your audio options. 
it's it's really simple, guys. It does not require any uh, any in-depth explanation of that. The main thing you want to deal with is the capture. So whatever you're doing online where you want to record it, whether you have a presentation coming up and you want to show your pictures or your drafts or whatever you're working on, or if you just would like to journal yourself or if you're a YouTube creator, this is a perfect opportunity for you to simply record your screen without the hassle of downloading or learning how to work anything else. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Remember to hit that like button, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you real soon in the next one.